Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, this again, I'm sorry to say, is not quite the Sullivan's video that I had in mind to bring out today, but I couldn't ignore this because it's quite a serious situation and it needs addressed ASAP, I believe. So, I think we would do that. I think we shall do that anyway. Right, so as many of you already know, Zoe has put up a post on Instagram and it is rather earth shattering, right? So we're going to go over it now to see what she had to say and um, see what we can do about the situation because, you know, I think that, you know, neither of us want this situation to go on any longer the way it is, right? And I think there's only one solution we can come to and I will let you know at the end of this video. So, Zoe said the following, I want to apologise for being a bit rubbish on here the last few weeks. Well, yeah, just the last few weeks. Anyway, to be honest, I've not been feeling 100% and my mental health has taken a bit of a battering lately. Well, I know how that can feel, honestly. I get it. To be honest, Zoe looks like a shell of a person when she's on the vlogs. That's not just recently, though. In general, I've noticed that. Um, you know, she's got to look after 12 kids as well. It's a little bit concerning. We are very, we are very positive people, and we always try and take positive out of every situation. But when you have people actively trying to destroy you and your family for the sole reason that they have taken a dislike to you it's very difficult to stay positive now one thing i would say there zoe i don't know if you're talking about me or just general because it's not just me right and i think we understand that i don't think that i dislike you i don't dislike you right let's get that bit out of the way straight away you and i buds right ben buds right i don't dis i actually don't dislike you i dislike what you're doing right there's a difference there and it's not with the sole intention of trying to destroy you and your family yes i may have used the title once or twice that uh, i destroyed <laughs> your business or you destroyed your kids or destroying your kids this basically observations about what's happening at the moment is that you're destroying your kids and that's why i use the word destroy in the title there now i yeah i'm not trying to destroy you and your family right your channel however is a different matter right and i believe everyone has got the right to have a channel you know i don't mind you can have your channel you can do whatever you want with your channel but what you can't do with your channel is your, use your kids to make the money for your channel, right? You can't put your kids in danger on the daily basis for your channel. Things like this, you know, t tends to get people a little bit riled up, I know. It's, it's a difficult one to comprehend, I know. Um, and I'm often told, why do you care? Why do you care? You know, it's not your kids. <laughs> exactly, it's not my kids. Why should I care, right? Quite often, I think to myself, why the hell am I caring? Why, why the fuck do I care about it? I get a lot of backlash for actually putting out videos trying to get you to stop doing what you're doing, right? And people say, well, why do you care? Like, I don't know. Why, why should I care? That, that is always in the back of my mind. Like, I get the hate, but it's not even my kids I'm protecting, if you see what I mean. It's somebody else's kids, you know. If you want to destroy your kids, then maybe that's up to you, you know. And if it was up to your subs, then you would uh, be allowed to just destroy your kids, right? Because they don't mind your kids being destroyed. Anyway, moving on. I found myself not being able to write or talk about what I want to for fear of the backlash or how the trolls will twist what I say, constantly questioning myself as to what I am saying and doing. I know that's that's always going to be a difficult one to get over. You have to literally not care, right? You have to literally just everybody to the back of your mind people are going to hate on you even on me i know me people do not everybody likes me you know 
they think that I'm out for myself, things that I've read and stuff like that, you know. But at the end of the day, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing and for why. And that's the important thing. If you're not doing anything inherently wrong, Zoe, then just carry on. Ignore everybody else. Um, but that doesn't absolve you of your responsibilities towards your kids. You know, don't be selfish about doing things for yourself. Anyway. Um, of course, it's not just been this. It's been a mixture of lots of things. We've had our bank account hacked. <laughs> really? Why? How? <laughs> How would my, be my question. Who's hacked your bank account? <laughs> Sorry. That little bit seems a little bit far fetched. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna lie, right? Um somebody mentioned in my comments, in fact, you know, maybe maybe you clicked on one of those sex bot links and it like hacked your bank account or something, maybe. <laughs> Could be an option. I don't know. I don't know whether or not that happened. That seems a little bit like like I don't even know how somebody hacks a bank account like is it easy <laughs> i don't know how to do it so um <laughs> yeah we've had our bank account hacked the constant online abuse from the same group of people malicious calls to social services malicious calls to environmental health the list goes on now the thing is, it's a couple of things, right? Not going to pr pry too much into your details. But, you know, when you have these calls to social services, right? Now, I'm not saying that people should do malicious calls to your social services, but it depends if they're malicious or not, right? I would always encourage people to report to social services if there is a genuine problem, right? And that entails weighing up whether or not you think there's a genuine problem or if it's just something that you've construed as being a problem. I don't know. So you have to really figure out, like, if it's a serious concern, if it's maybe something you've seen that you've thought you've seen and maybe not. I don't know. It's like, for example, I'll give you an example, right? The food situation, right? To me, it looks as though you're not feeding your kids enough. I did that food haul video where I interrogated all your food and everything, right? And whilst I came to the conclusion that there isn't enough there, right, for all your kids, it's possible, although I think improbable, imp it is possible that you held some food back and you didn't show it on the camera, right? There is that possibility. And why you would do that, God knows. But you could have done that. And in that case, that would be like you could report. Somebody could report you to social services for not feeding your kids enough, but they don't really have any hard evidence that you don't. Right. On the other hand, when I look at um, some of your kids that appear to be very frail and, and they're they are definitely they're having a lot of time off school and, and things like that it kind of builds a bigger picture as to what's actually going on and the the problems there so you know these are things that that you put out as well zoe I, and then the em environmental health thing well that's people's rights isn't it i mean if you if you are running a business from home that involves like food stuff right you have to be doing it right and by your own admission you weren't doing it right so i'm not quite sure where your your logic there is with people maliciously doing it because you've already told us that they were right to report you so, <laughs> i don't know it's not really malicious then is it um also you if you were going to shop at like a, a bakery for example greg's or something like that then you would expect a level of cleanliness and if you didn't have that when you went into shop you could report that to environmental health it's a business you do it it's your right to do it 
Uh, she went on to say, I will never understand the need for someone to destroy another human being that they don't even know, usually on the say-so of something they heard or something that someone told them. Well, there's a difficult thing, really, I would say. It's... I get the point, I do. You know, I... I try to be careful with my words. I know it doesn't always seem like that. But I try to be careful in the things that I claim. Right? If I make an actual claim about somebody or something, then it's better to back that up with a fact. Right? If I said, oh yeah, by the way, uh, Zoe is starving her kids. It's fact. Just believe me. Right? Then, yeah, you'd have a case. Because you know, that's wrong, that that would be wrong of me to do that, I wouldn't do that, would be wrong, I could, however, do what I did with the, the food haul video, and show every single item that you bought, and then allow people to make up their own minds, that's not my fault, if people decide, then yeah, there's not, not enough food there, but yeah, she goes on to say, then... Why would someone try and stop us making an income to provide for our family if they wanted the best for our children? So now this, right, this amongst all the other, you know, words that she said here annoyed me the most, right? And there's two reasons why, and you're going to love this one, right? Firstly, nobody's trying to destroy your income for your kids. Nobody's trying to do that trust me on this one, I'm not trying to do this, I want your kids to be fed so that they eat, right, what I don't want you to do is use those kids to pay for the food which you then feed them, right, you don't have your kids make you the money so that you can feed your kids, you don't do that, you don't endanger your kids lives to make the money, you don't put them out on social media to make money you don't sell them to make money right these are the things that we don't want you to do and you need to understand that what you are doing is that right the other thing that annoyed me was the words the words resonate very closely to that of uh, a certain uh, Sarah Ingham that's right Sarah has said that or words close to that effect so many times and she <laughs> it's very clear to me that that has come directly from Sarah they've had a conversation recently I'm sure of it I'm positive in fact they have hiding behind anonymous profiles to try and get us into trouble for things we haven't done like what that that's the th that's the thing. I haven't seen any anybody try to get you into trouble for things you haven't done. I mean, the things that have gone on recently have been um, you exploiting your kids, you exposing your kids, you um, using your kids for money, you showing us where your kids live. These are things you have done. Um... The thing about the trolls, the sex bots, yeah, whilst maybe you haven't, maybe, I don't know, if you bought subs or views or whatever, right, I don't know, but at the end of the day, those should be deleted by you, you should be controlling your comment section, and at the moment, the comment section is awash with shit, <laughs> a lot of it, I was reading the comment section this morning, and I was disgusted, it was horrendous and at the end of the day no matter who is writing those comments it needs to be the channel owner who takes control of that and stops it right they need to stop it and this brings me to my next point actually and this is going to surprise a lot of people and that is that um frankie marley that's right it appears that frankie marley is an actual person an actual person is not not a troll she is not a family member as far as i can tell 
but she is an actual person. I'm not going to share um, the detail, the names and things like that, that I've I've found out. It's all on the internet anyway, if you do find it. But I'm not going to share it purely because it is an actual person, so I don't think I should. That being said, that actual person is destroying the comments. Um, destroying the comment section, destroying the Song of Ends channel single-handedly. I don't know if she's doing it because she thinks that it's defending the Ingham, um, defending the Song of Ends. But it's not. It really, really isn't. It is like the worst. It's a comment section you would not want to go into, right? You wouldn't want to go into it because you fear if you say something wrong... Because a lot of people are not saying wrong things. They're maybe giving constructive criticism. They're giving a little bit of adv advice. But then Frankie doesn't agree with it. And jumps on you. And tells you that you're a, a sick fuck. Uh, or tells you to go. Or tells you something else. right? And that means that people don't want to comment. And they're going to lose subs for it. right? Which is... I guess it's good, isn't it? But um, it's not good when you've got, like, kids watching the videos. You've got their kids watching and reading the comments. And they have all that going on. It's horrendous. Anyway, if you have to hide behind an anonymous profile to spout your hate, then you already know that you are doing something wrong so just to to clarify you can't be talking about me in that one because i'm not hiding behind an anonymous profile the raccoon is my profile is my persona right so uh yeah um maybe maybe she's talking about frankie as a bully <laughs> classic <laughs> anyway Right, she goes on to say, we've also had what feels like months of back-to-back to, back to back illnesses and all the usual drama of family, fa family life, toddler, teen and all in between that we don't share online. We are now at a point where we either have to learn to put up with the hate and ignore it or we give it all up. Well, I think there's only one thing that you can do in that situation, isn't it? I'll leave it. I'll leave that one for you, so if you want, um, try to figure it out. Of course, we want to carry on for the people that support us and for ourselves, as we always loved doing what we do. But just lately, it's all become really hard. Walking around knowing that there are people where you live that hate you enough to try to get you into trouble is also really horrid and i would wouldn't wish it on anyone um yeah that's the thing right and it it's a good thing right <laughs> or is it a good thing i don't know <laughs> yeah the people that live in their vicinity in their town that dislike them so i haven't sent those your way in in any way shape or form right um believe it or not those people who dislike you were already there disliking you before i came along right so it's not it's not all me nothing's me right i know that this post will get pulled apart by certain people but it was important for me to write and you, yeah, you did well. You did good at writing. You know, I didn't think you could write so good, but you did. Very proud of you there, um, Zoe. So, yeah, um, what's the conclusion? What is the takeaway from this? Well, I would suggest, and this is purely from what I've noticed over the last few days, right? I would suggest, Zoe, that you block with added haste the um the once famous infamous frankie marley right although i said that she is an actual person she is really really destroying your channel and um, i think that she needs to go my opinion she's not doing any good for you or if you can find her have a word with her and tell her to stop right 
those are your options. Um, you could stop vlogging, carry on vlogging, right? You and Ben, set up your own little team, Ben and Zoe. Uh, ben and Zoe's channel, I don't know. Zoe and Ben, Ben and Zoe, one of those. And, you know, you could conquer the internet. If you think that you are good enough you two together and people watch you for you two then cut the kids out completely and and just film you folding your kids clothes whatever it is that people like to watch don't know why right and ben you could film your walks you don't have to film the kids whilst you're on your walk. You just film your walk and you talk and you walk and you talk and things like that, you know. Could be interesting. That's what I would suggest you do because, um, yeah. I mean, I could stop talking about you and stop making videos right enough. But I don't think everybody else is going to suddenly, magically um, love what you do, in my opinion. So, um, with that being said, please let me know, everybody, in the comments down below what you think about all of this. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new and let me know what is uh, what would you like me to cover next, if anything. Until next time, have a brilliant day. Take care of yourselves and bye-bye.